I give all our thanks and gratitude that I cannot express with my language to our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, to our Honorable Home Minister Amit Shah, our beloved and Honorable Chief Minister Himanta Bhushanma, under whose auspices it becomes <coughs> It is possible to sign an agreement here. <coughs> we, in this moment, offer our gratitude to the peoples of Assam and 131 organizations who initiated the National Convention in 2010. Anyhow, to initiate the talks. I will brief a little bit history in this moment, how it was happened uh, before going to the, this agreement and so. <coughs> Osa was from 1979 and 7th April and everybody knows how it has learned from them. However, its condition has been declined since 2003. Since 2003, we have lost one after another of our bases. First we have lost Bhutan, then the they say inside the sun, uh, we, we have seen to, that they were uh, very much difficult for us to use because all the uh, ethnic organizations decided we, we have seen to, that they were difficult for us to use because all the uh, ethnic organizations residing there have come in touch with the government of India for ceasefire agreement. So we are losing our bases. Lastly, we have lost all Bangladesh base. In 2009, all Alpha leaders except one was arrested from Bangladesh. Already our Honorable General Secretary was languishing in jail, Bangladesh jail for 14 years. And our Vice Chairman was languishing in Assam Gohati for 12 years. Mithanga Dilmari was eight, nine years. Pranuti Dek was eight, nine, eight, nine years. A prison. <coughs> then we have no other option to spend our days in the prison. And there were no bases. And such called strategic depth was also very, very less inside Assam. Ten minutes only required because of the infrastructure development and so Alpha was very weak at the time. So um, we have lost our game. Because we have nothing to do at the time but to stay in jail for, for the end of the Indian judiciary and so. <coughs> However, at that time, the people from all of our life have come forward under the leadership of Dr. Jinan Bhai, the Indian scholar, they came forward and they have stated to us that. We want to make a resolution uh, that is, you should be freed from jail and you should discuss. There are so many other basic problems in uh, Assam. There are no such bargaining agent for the solution of this very uh, problem. And you should uh, make bargaining with the government of India, make a uh, initiative of, take an initiative of peace talks and so. Then we agreed. Then this national convention was happened for the very first time in India, uh, in Assam. 131 organizations agreed that Ulfa should be freed from, leaders should be freed from jail and the negotiation should be initiated with Ulfa. Anyhow, to solve the basic problems of Assam, they have mentioned, underscored these basic problems of Assam. Alpha, they are, uh, first of all, <coughs> saying was so that Alpha should. Um, it has to give up armed struggle and his original demand. And we say that we have already lost our political hostile struggle. So when people seek uh, at that time short regarding to negotiate with this very basic problem, we agreed. Then they came to Delhi and so it was materialized that India agreed to talk with us first. That was 2011. 11, sir. <coughs> Then, upon what agenda we will talk, <coughs> the question come up. Then, the expert committee was made, uh, five expert committee was made, 
and they have given an agenda to us. It's a very big agenda. There are so many uh, sectors there. The basic was the political sectors. Since 1979, it is KR, it is KR or whatever may be termed, which is formed uh, inside the heart of the people of Assam that we are going to lose our identity in the hand of uh, influx from the neighboring countries and so. So many things have happened. Uh, accord was also signed in 1985. Uh, different types of exercise also happened, but nothing has been availed as far as solution is concerned. So they have stated that you should seek political safeguard for the people's of Assam. It's a basic agenda was there. <coughs> Then question come up, the definition of what does it mean that is political safeguard for Assam. <coughs> there is no such uh, constitutional rules, there is no such legal frame, framework or any other, any other what's called written documents. What will define uh, that is political safeguard for an state, <coughs> constitutional safeguard for an state, sorry. Then we have gone door to door top so many, with so many experts in Assam also, outside Assam also, <coughs> then also leadership come up in a condition, uh, in a terms, that is, if we can keep our legislative, legislative assembly in the hand of our original people, indigenous. originally inhabitant people, uh, some says indigenous people and so, then it will be the only panacea of this political elite. And everybody agreed upon that. Cutting across any political affiliation, we have nothing to say regarding that. <clears throat> 126 we do have in our uh, legislative assembly. So we must have to get <coughs> our, so it was 90 percent. Then we think that how can then be, it be materialized and what may be the mechanism. Again we have searched it. Then so many experts, expert committees, so many people have advised us and we have also got it that there was a movement in Assam at that time prior to our arrival in prison. That is, six communities of Assam who were already in OBC list are seeking for ST status in Assam. <coughs> then we decided that we will uh, have talk to these people and we'll take that very movement. And you have to bargain with India uh, to provide those people ST status. Then our, uh, at that time, assumption was that if we get ST status for that, 30 seats may be reserved in a, again. At that time, 24 <coughs> seats are reserved for SC and STs. Another 30 will be reserved surely. <coughs> and um, two more, I think so, uh, six civil area we will get and, and so. <coughs> However, it has gone a momentum and it was, the bill was introduced in the Rajya Sabha and it was passed. Then Ulfa has given statement that we are near about to do something else <coughs> regarding our solution. But in that very moment, this particular political agenda lost inclusive consensus in Assam. All the tribal peoples, uh, their organizations has come to street and protested against that very uh, new reservation policy. <coughs> and what's called new ways upon that again, new organization has come up, they are not new but uh, in this regard new, they have asked as this status for themselves also. They are purely general, uh, what's called, uh, what's called general caste or what, what I, I don't know what, what to say. A general people, not in OBC, not in... Uh, then it get an another, lost another inclusive consensus. <coughs> so, uh, this process has again stumbled again. <coughs> again we have talked to government of India. And then, now we are talking not for solution now. Now we are talking for another ways that we will bring another solution for, uh, for this very context. And we have to discuss with it. The change of protocol, everything else. Then again we have taken one uh, solution. 
which was then inscribed in the six clause. Uh, it is committee was formed government. They have inscribed it from, from that very agenda. It was almost same <coughs> that um, basically uh, as in this reservation for this Assamese speaking people at that time because uh, this tribe has already got reservation and the purely Assamese speaking people who have said them as Assamese and so these things was come up. But as we thought that six loss committee which was found by the government itself will give us a moment time at that time. Because uh, we have given this agenda previously to the, previously before the, it was formed in Assam. The six was committee was formed in Assam. People of Sama committee. Then very straightly government declined to do anything else for this very recommendation of six plus committee. When they declined to the straightly stated to organizations who are behind those very committees that government is not in this month we have to do anything else. And even I think central government had not accepted the six class committee documentation also, documents also. <laughs> then we have lost again our debt very endeavor also. <clears throat> then what we will do next? Their government is asking us any mechanism. There is no such mechanism through which now our indigenous people, that means originally independent people, what Supreme Court described as to make safe. <clears throat> then we have discussed with so many people. Then this new NDVR has been taken up by Assam Chief Minister, Honorable Himanta Vishal Sarma, then officials from Home Ministry. And so they say that there is a pending condition of this delimitation is in, in, in case of Assam is there. We, would, we should try and uh, you should agree with that. that we said we, how we can agree it. What will be its uh, result? If we agree it, if we don't get the result, then it will be another failure. <coughs> so we have to seek it. That we agreed with them at that time that if we get 60% seats for our people, uh, reserved or so, then we will agree with you. <coughs> then this process was ultimately a little bit uh, stallness come up, then we voted. Uh, then they have taken the result of this uh, delimitation process to us <coughs> first. <coughs> we have set 94 constituency we have got it for our own people. What's called, somebody called for indigenous people, someone called for native people, someone called for whatever it may be. That is originally inhibitant people, that is own people. Eleven seat has gone uh, to the people who are originally uh, migrated <coughs> just after independence or so maybe from India. There's the Hindu Bengalis are there uh, and other Indian original people are there, eleven seats. And another twenty-three seats has completely gone to the 